control system, uh, locking unlocking doors, for example. Here's another company called Dawa. Again, our unique platform allowed them to write this integration where they can show the temperature of an individual on screen, grab their snapshot, and then that, that, that data is stored so that you can search it later or react to it as an event or alarm. So should a threshold of uh, skin temperature be crossed, you can trigger the uh, event, the alarm. And as I mentioned, you can use that to trigger reactions if your access control system is integrated to milestone. And that's just two examples, right? So through our platform, should you want to deploy this tech type of technology, which is not perfect for detecting COVID, believe me, you've got that option and you have it with multiple um, vendors and solutions. So another one is social distancing, um, enforcing this, you know, occupancy, crowd counting, for example. So this is where video analytics become uh, very powerful. So an example of an integration that we have that, that supports this type of um, technology is a, uh, is a brief cam. So here I'm, I'm dialing into, um, an integration from a video analytic company called brief cam. Again, they have the ability to analyze the video that we collect and they do what's called a video synopsis. So what they can do is take, um, a large amount of video data and take all the events that have transpired in that certain amount of time and overlay them in video synopsis. And they can do this real time as well. So if there's a certain amount of people that enter a zone or an area of your building, you can trigger alerts and reactions. I'll show you how using their visual later data, they can actually identify the paths. So if you're trying to analyze your facility for where you have high traffic areas or cause for concern when it comes to social distancing, you can leverage the video data that's already been collected by your milestone system to visualize that. So here I can see the high traffic areas where I have lots of people. That's where I'm probably going to put measures in place in order to enforce social distancing. And then they have a research module as part of their application where I can visualize this data on a dashboard and I'll be able to see the data in a more actionable way um, and, and understand what's happening. Um, in my facility, when it comes to people and their movement, in a more visual way. So here you can see they've got the dashboard for the retail trends, how many visitors in the area. Again, I can embed the common paths like I showed you. But then I can also do an occupancy. So I can switch to their building occupancy dashboard. And here I can see minimum people that entered, maximum people, how, many, how long they're dwelling in certain areas. And that's going to allow me to better um, adjust for, for, the, for the new normal of, of social distancing. So then the third is uh, protection, right? Being hands-free. So already, because of our unique way of allowing you to view uh, video, it's easy for you to do, um, you know, if you're a healthcare facility, for example, to do virtual rounding, you know, checking on patients using the, the video platform. So again, the milestone smart client that you have on screen is fully customizable to the, to the user level, to the operator level. You can restrict which cameras they can and can't access, what times of the day they're able to access the video. So if you do have privacy concerns when it comes to shifting to using video more than personal interaction, we give you the protection and the control you need to adjust your users. And then again, if a piece of software or you don't want to install that, or you're looking for something just a little simpler uh, than the smart client, we also have uh, a web client. So this is a browser base, easy way to get access to video, nothing needs to be installed. All the views that are created that I have access to are available to me in the web client, and I can easily check in on a patient uh, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm a nurse, and I can uh, even have a conversation with them, right? Because we fully support the two-way audio in both the smart client I was showing you earlier, uh, this web client, and then we have the ability to do that with the mobile app as well. So if you have an iOS or a Droid device, a tablet, you shouldn't need to purchase additional hardware. A lot of facilities already have these types of devices. You can load the mobile application on those devices and um, interact with the video. All the events and alarms that I mentioned earlier uh, can be tied into this as well. Um, and you can even interact with your access control system through the web and the mobile clients as well.
And then touchless access control, right? So I'm gonna to touch on this more later, but I mentioned how we can integrate to access control systems. This is a, a, an example of XProject Access. This is not milestone access control. This is our unique way of tying into industry leaders and in access control. We're the open platform company. We're a video centric company. We wanna make an easy to use interface that leverages video in an effective way, but we're not gonna write our own access control platform. What we do is tie into leaders and we give you this, this clean interface. So it doesn't really matter what you're using uh, in the background. If you're using one of the 13 partners we support this type of integration with, you'll get this uh, type of view that you can set up on your critical entrance and exit points. So here I can click any of the um, uh, images on the right hand side and I can get right to when a badge was swiped. So here we can see an example of something that's not going to be great for COVID. That's a reader that you actually have to touch with your badge. But because we tie into so many different access control platforms, the ability to use a touchless uh, reader is going to be um, uh, very simple. Almost all of the um, access control companies we work with have touchless options where you can change it to proximity or you can use uh, mobile credentials and Bluetooth connectivity uh, to lock and unlock doors. And again, this is an example where if, uh, if an event or an alarm from a thermal camera came in, I could prevent that door from being accessed based on that event occurring. So that's some of the protection technology that we bring to the table through our open platform. And again, the key here is there's options. So you have lots of different uh, options. Uh, you can pick the right technology that works for you. So then tracking technology, right? So I've already showed you BriefCam. They are about to come out with an update at the end of uh, June that's gonna allow you to not only uh, track individuals, but you can uh, do their appearance similarity to find people and also enforce social distancing using um, uh, their new update that's scheduled to come out uh, June 30th. But you'll, you'll be able to um, set a proximity threshold. So let's say somebody came in, you did identify them as somebody that had COVID and had been in your facility. You can do an after the fact search for that individual and find anybody that may, they may have come in contact with to make contact tracing uh, uh, possible, leveraging your video system. So again, if you have Milestone, if you have BriefCam, you can do that uh, search after the fact, find anybody they were near um, um, in, the, in the last 24 hours or when they were on site with your, um, in, in your facility. And then the access control integration as well, right? You know, say, uh, uh, you know, let's say, you know, one of these individuals was, um, was um, diagnosed with the, with the virus, right? You can track them. We've logged all these things. So if I click this magnifying glass here, you can go to the dedicated tab in the smart client where I can see access control and it's pre-filtered to, to that individual, Daniel. And then I can go through the events and when what door he sees access, what dates and times, um, and, and get to the video uh, on the right hand side. I can clear that search. I can look at all the times and it's just quick visual verification. And then again, the logging of people, where they've been at your facility, uh, who they've been around, for example, and, and the audit logging. So if you do need to do contact tracing or um, go through where in your facility they've accessed, Milestone's making that easy to do with visual verification, which is really important uh, so that you can effectively um, diagnose who they've been around. So those are some of the ways Milestone allows you through our open platform to leverage technology to reopen your business. And again, it's all about freedom and flexibility, the ability to choose what's gonna work well for you and to be able to leverage uh, uh, your Milestone system to, to allow your people to interact with the technology in a simple way. All right, way. thank you, Paul. Thank you for uh, your time. Take care. We can uh, move to the next slide. Thank you, Eric. So, We've got a Q&A session coming up here, but just uh, a quick summary. So today uh, we had kind of three goals, and, and again, just one is uh, facilitating a conversation around uh, a little better understanding around uh, customer issues um, in regards to COVID-19 and efforts to reintegrate and get back to a, a new normal. And uh, uh, just again, oftentimes the, the missions of these organizations and institutions is really at odds with social distancing or face mask uh, uh, processes that are being put in place to protect the public. And uh, there's a very um, there's a very real need to utilize technology to help minimize the impact on the services that those organizations provide. Uh, the second piece of this was uh, examining really the innovation that's happening in the marketplace and uh, the ability to integrate that technology in the milestone. And Brad uh, articulated really kind of four key areas uh, for 
uh, COVID technologies. One is around temperature detection. There's obviously just a ton of um, energy around temperature detection today and how we utilize that technology. It's improving and uh, we're finding new and interesting ways to detect uh, people with fevers before they enter buildings and the integration of that technology into milestone is uh, is happening. We have uh, so social distancing detection, uh, so helping people adhere to social distancing standards once they're in buildings, keeping people safe. There's a, an assessment uh, that Brad and Paul did around uh, hands-free technology and just really preventing the spread of the virus um, as kind of a key element in uh, uh, the, the, uh, the fight against COVID. And then lastly, if someone is infected, uh, how do we track where they've been and who they may have been in contact with so that we can, uh, again, limit the spread of the virus?